What's up everyone? Welcome to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be showing you a basic video how to install Google Tag Manager, how to install Google Analytics 4, and how to install Google Search Console on our website. And we're going to be creating the new account for each of these as well. So I have a brand new website here, so I need to add all three of these to it. What we are going to be doing first is adding Google Tag Manager to our website. Before we add Google Tag Manager to our website, I'm going to show you the plugin that I use. So let's go to the plugins page through WordPress and we're going to click on add new plugin. Now there's different ways to install Google Tag Manager. I have been using this method for several years now without any issues. So if you want to use this method, that's great. If you want to use another method to install Google Tag Manager or you already have it installed, that's fine as well. And I'll still show you how to install Google Analytics 4 and Google Search Console. So let's first search for our plugin. And what I search is head, footer, post. And this is the one that we're looking for right here, HNF, head, footer, and post injections. So pretty easy to see the thumbnail here. It is by Stefano Lisa. It was actually last updated over a year ago, so I almost moved away from this plugin because I was scared if they're not gonna keep updating it, but you could see very good reviews for this plugin, a lot of active installations, last updated six days ago. So let's install and activate our plugin, and then we will open the page for our plugin. Then we will get started with actually creating our Google Tag Manager account. So we activate our head, footer, and post injections plugin. Now you can see it's activated here. To access it, go to settings and look for head and footer. So from once we get to this page, head and footer, we now have this plugin open. And what we wanna do is just right from the main plugin page, scroll down and we're just looking for this section right here. Let's come over to Google Tag Manager and we're going to click on create account. So let's name our account. So my website is brickpop.com. Our country is going to be United States. So we can share our data. I'm just gonna choose not to share my data for right now. Container name, we'll do brickpop.com. This will be a web container. So it's for desktop and mobile web pages. And we're gonna click on create. So we have to agree to the terms of service agreement and we are going to click on yes. Okay, so it's that easy to create a Google Tag Manager account. So once you create your Tag Manager account, you're going to see install Google Tag Manager. Let's copy this piece of code here and we're gonna come back to our plugin. So we're in the head and footer plugin, head, footer, post injections. We're going to paste that piece of code right here underneath the opening header tag, page, section, injection. Come back over to Google Tag Manager, paste this code immediately after the opening body tag. So we're gonna copy this piece of code here, come back over immediately after the opening body tag. We're going to paste this here and paste it here for mobile. So now we have our Google Tag Manager pixels added to our website and we can click on save. Once you add Google Tag Manager to your website, you can manage all of your tags, like your Google Analytics tag, your Google Ads conversion tracking tags. You can manage all of your tags directly in Tag Manager. You don't have to add individual pixels to your website. All you need to do is make sure that this is always on your website. To complete our installation, let's just make sure we clicked on save. So we're, we're all saved. Now these pixels are on our website. The last thing that we need to do is we need to submit our workspace. So with Google Tag Manager, if you're seeing changes not published here, then it actually won't be installed yet until you publish or submit your workspace. So we are going to put added. Okay, so our version, name, and description. So I'm gonna be the only one accessing this account, so I don't need to do anything too descriptive. So added Google Tag Manager pixels to website. We're gonna click on publish now. And now that it's published, we have Google Tag Manager installed on our website. We can choose, we can look at this using a Google Tag Assistant, but what I'll do is I will show you how this is installed on the website by activating our Google Search Console with this and also activating our Google Analytics 4 with this. So next we are going to install Google Analytics 4, but first we need to create an account. So we're gonna click on get started today. Okay, so it's gonna say welcome to Google Analytics and we're going to click on start measuring. Now we need to create our account. So same exact thing, it's going to be Brick, brick Pop and I'm just gonna leave this as it is and we're gonna click on next. Property name or is going to be Brick Pop as well. Reporting time zone, so you can set your local time zone here. I am in the New York time zone. Reporting time zone, United States, currency, US dollar. If you click on show advanced option, it has create a universal analytics property. We can't do that anymore because they've ended universal analytics. So we're gonna click on next and now it's business details. So industry category, so mine is, we're gonna choose hobbies and leisures here. So it's a website that's gonna be about educational kids toys and child development. Um, so I don't really know if there's a better option here. Maybe 
games if it's about toys, but hobbies and leisure, I guess for now, I'm not sure what else would be a, a better one for this website. Business size is small, one to 10 employees. We're gonna click on next. Choose your business objective. So we'll say generate leads. Now drive online sales. I'm not gonna have any actual physical products for sale on my website. I'll be doing affiliate marketing. So we're just gonna click on generate leads for right now. So we can do raise brand awareness, examine user behavior. So we'll do these three. We could always add online sales later. So it's not a huge deal if we don't select it at that portion. Terms of service agreement, and we also have to accept the data processing term. So we're gonna click on accept. And now we wanna start collecting data. So this is going to be web. So we're gonna choose web here and our website URL is brickpop.com. Stream name is going to just be brickpop. And I could do web here, but I'm not gonna ever have another stream here as far as I know. So we could always change our stream name if we need to. Enhanced measurement. So we wanna automatically select enhanced measurement and we are measuring page views, scrolls, outbound clicks. We're gonna click on create stream. Okay, so it's gonna say data collection is not activated for our website. Now they have installation instructions. So if you wanna do this with some of these other options here, we detected WordPress on your website, choose one of these plugins. You can choose another, you can install manually. We, we are going to do is we are going to take this measurement ID and we're just going to copy it. Then we're gonna head over to Google Tag Manager, come back to our workspace, and we're gonna add a new tag. We're gonna click on Tag Configuration, and we're going to be doing GA4 Configuration. So this will be a our GA4 Configuration tag, and we want it to trigger on all pages. So basically what we're saying is, put our Google Analytics 4 tag on every page on our website using Google Tag Manager. Now what we need to do is make sure we enter our measurement ID here. So it's gonna say send a page view event when this configuration loads. So now we have this triggering on all pages, our measurement ID will be put on all pages and we're gonna click on save. Okay, so now what we need to do is submit our workspace and we are going to put added GA4 configuration. So we can do this for name and description and publish. Now we have Google Analytics installed on our website. So what we can do is it should start processing pretty shortly. Let's open up a page of our website. Okay, so we have a page of our website open now. So we'll start seeing some real-time data once this starts receiving some data. So let's click on next, data collection is pending. Successfully created your account and property, may take up to 48 hours before our property starts collecting data. So email communications, I'm just gonna say none and click on save. So it's saying no data received. By the end of this video, we will have some data received from this website. So let's make sure we have this added through Google Tag Manager and we do. So now what we can do is if we come over here and we go to our tags, you can see we have our GA4 configuration tag installed on our website, last edited a minute ago, and the type of tag that we used. So now that is all set up. We actually don't need to physically be in Tag Manager to do Google Search Console. So I'm gonna show you how easy it is to verify your Google Search Console account. Once you install your Google Tag Manager using your Google account, so I'm using my Google account here, once you do that, what you can do is just set up your account in Google Search Console, and once you enter your URL, it should automatically confirm that they are able to see that you own this website through your Google Tag Manager account. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on Start Now, there's two different options here, domain and URL prefix. I will have a separate video for basically every single way to install Google Search Console. For this one, we're using Google Tag Manager, so we have our Google Tag Manager pixel on our website. When we come over here, we're going to put our URL prefix. Okay, so we enter our website here, and what we're going to do is click on continue. So we're checking verification now. All right, ownership auto verified with Google Tag Manager. Now, one thing to keep in mind is what you may need to do is actually purge your cache. So if it's not working immediately, purge your cache and that should help you because sometimes the cache pages are being served, but you shouldn't really have any issues with that. So this is now verified through Google Tag Manager. We're gonna click on go to property. So we're actually getting some clicks already in this property. So you're seeing not really many clicks. So we're gonna be hoping to increase our, uh, our overall clicks and impressions, but once we install this, you can see our clicks and impressions here for this website, looking at the last three months. So our goal is going to be to increase this pretty drastically, obviously. So if we come over here and we come to our website, we now have Google Tag Manager, Google Analytics 4, and Google Search Console installed on our website. So I'm on the home page right now. Let's go to Google Analytics, and what you can see is users in the last 30 minutes, one user. So if we go to the real-time overview here, it is showing exactly where I am. So if we scroll down here, you can see 
the different page titles I visited and one user currently on the website and that's basically it. So now we have all of these installed here. All you need to do is add Google Tag Manager to this, install Google Analytics 4 through your Google Tag Manager account with a Google Analytics 4 tag. And then all you need to do is just set up your Google Search Console account. And once you do that, it'll automatically be verified. So as long as that tag stays on our website, we will have no issues measuring everything that's happening in Google Analytics 4 and Google Search Console. So hoping to create a lot more content around these two tools. Um, still do it looking to, to be a little better in Google Analytics 4 before I create any videos and Google Search Console. I will probably have a tutorial out in the next month or so. So thank you for watching my video. Hopefully this has been helpful. We should have everything installed now, be able to track everything and we could add any new tags from this list here with Google Tag Manager. So if you want to add some of these other tags, your Pinterest tag, your Microsoft tag, your LinkedIn Insight tag, you can do all of that through Tag Manager. So thanks again for watching my video and make sure you subscribe to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel.